hello. In my previous video below. It doesn't show you the way to generate the analysis data to upload. Besides, I've been requested to create this kind of video by the watcher of my video. Therefore I've created this video to show you the way to generate the analysis data for SAP readiness check, and download it. This video includes following steps. The step 4 and 5 are optional. If you want to show the custom code analysis section in readiness check, you have to do those steps. Step 1 is updating the simplification catalog, but before do that. Let's check the program RC collect analysis data in the transaction SC38. In this program, the latest release that can be selected is 1809, although I am executing this program in September 2020. It seems to be old, so it is necessary to update simplification item catalog. To update simplification item catalog, execute the program slash sdf slash rc start check. Local version is April 2019, it is surely old. To update the catalog, there are two methods. One is fetching from SAP support portal. The other is uploading the file manually. At first, let's try this one, because it is the easiest way. This system seems impossible to access to SAP support portal due to insufficient system settings. So, I need to select this way. To do this, it is necessary to download the simplification item catalog at first. Let's go to the download site of simplification item catalog. Here is the download site. To download the latest one. Click on the release 1909. Then, click on the download button here. Select customer version and push OK. Now, the simplification item catalog is downloaded to my local PC. Go back to the program slash sdf slash rc start check. Then push upload simplification item catalog from file. Select the file downloaded just a little while ago. Push yes for the message about the overwriting. The simplification item catalog is successfully uploaded and the timestamp of version is changed. Now, it must be possible to select the latest release as the target. Let's execute RC collect analysis data again. Like this, it is possible to select the latest release here, although it was only possible to select until 1809 previously. Default settings of scope selection are like these. This time I don't change anything from the default, and check every analysis items. The target release 2021 is too recent. So let's change it to 1909 SPS 02. Finally, let's execute this program by the button Schedule Analysis. Prerequisite note for the analysis innovation potential seems to be missing, so the program was aborted.
To apply the note, go to the transaction S note. After the application of Note 282-7612, for the scope innovation potential. Execute the program again. Again, for the other scope. This time, the note for the scope business partner is missing. After the application of Note 281-1183. Finally, I could start and schedule the analysis. Let's check the status of job by this button, or the transaction SM37. RC collect analysis data is the main job. And this job triggers other jobs based on the analysis scopes you selected. These jobs are relevant jobs to collect analysis data for SAP readiness check so far. A few more relevant jobs are executed later. After several hours later. It took more than normal. Because the job was at a standstill due to insufficient background processes. I was executing jobs with three background processes, but it was necessary at least four background processes. All relevant jobs were finished. Let's check the log of each job.
collecting the analysis data is finished successfully. So let's go back to the program to download the collected data. To download the collected analysis data, push this button. The analysis date and the target release is correct. Push yes. Save it to the local PC. It is taking time to download. Finally, the download was finished. Next, let's execute the program SYCM Download Repository Info, to collect the data for custom codes. This is optional, but if you want to show the custom code analysis section in readiness check, you have to do this step. At first, I am creating the variant in order to execute this program in the background. The variant is created. Now, let's execute the program in the background with using this variant. Choose the menu program, execute, and background. Here, select the variant, created just a little while ago. You can check the contents of variant like this. Then, let's schedule the job with the variant. In this case, I chose the immediate execution. This is the scheduled job. The job is finished already. Because the number of custom objects in this system is very small, it is finished in the short term. You can check how many objects are targeted in the job log.
The job is finished successfully, so let's download the data. Now, two zip files to upload SAP readiness check are ready. So it is possible to create the report, but before do that, let's check the contents of downloaded files. Here is the site of SAP Readiness Check. Now, let's create the analysis and upload files. For analysis file, select the zip file created by RC Collect Analysis Data. This is my analysis. It became ready, so open it. Currently, the section custom code analysis is empty. So let's upload another zip file by pushing this button. Here, select the zip file that is created by SYCM Download Repository Info. Push the refresh button. Now, it shows the data for custom code analysis like this. For more details about the contents of SAP Readiness Check and other sections, please check this video of mine. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.